These are kind of cute. Look at everyone it's Lynn from Halen Vintage and I want to go over the items that I found at this quarter sale it was interesting to say the least I mean obviously do you think a quarter sale is going to be busy it was kind of busy the place was packed I mean not a, a whole lot of people crazy but the place was just small so um it was hard to kind of maneuver when you're trying to like pack of Kia bags, you know, so it was, it was, it was fun. Um, so on my nine foot couch here, I have this huge mid-century modern couch that we are going to go through what I picked up at the quarter sale. So first things I'm going to go through are some Easter items. They were like right when you walked in to the building, it was just like, it was this building that was, I want to say it's on a junkyard. And I think these women, they just shop. They have their little shop and they fill it. Because it. when I went through their website, it looks like they do quarter sales a couple times a year. So I think they 
have their shop, then they want to go shop some more. They have a huge quarter sale, empty the shop out, and then they go and fill it back up and have more quarter sales. If that's what they want to do and they have fun doing that, then so be it. I will probably go back and I will be a little bit earlier. There was maybe, I don't know, 10 to 15 people in front of us in line. We got there right at 10 o'clock, but um, was not that that horrible though. But it kind of crazy, but it was, it was a lot of fun. So let's go through the stuff that we picked up. So do you guys remember these wizard? Um, these are, oh my gosh, do these even have a date on them? This one, I can smell it. Made in the USA, 1983. So this one is the rabbit. He does not have his little box. These, I mean, these have been open, but they're still, somebody just put them in plastic bags. <clears throat> So this one is the little duck. And it's probably good that they put him in here because whoo, he's kind of cute. I mean, he still even has his little plastic thing in here and his box. And then we have this other one too that's in his box also. He's been opened, but these are still really fun though. I mean, these probably toxic. That's why they don't make them anymore. <laughs> he is still in his little plastic sleeve, but they have just put them probably because you wouldn't want to smell this all the time. Whew. But another little duck. He's just so super cute with those little, um, just the colors they have on them were just super great. So I'll get him back into his little thing. I'll fix him later and put the rabbit in there with him. But these, yeah, these were like, like I said, was this one also um, 19, made in USA, 1983. So fun, fun to have the little wizards nostalgia from when I was a kid. Picked up this little egg. It's got the little bunny on it. It just says, um, does it say Taiwan? It says Taiwan on the bottom of it. But it's in great shape. It had some cute little bunnies on there. So that was super cute. Picked up this one. This is a Russ. Um, Russ and Berries, I think, or something that is also made in Taiwan. Um, I think the, the little, they, like there was little balloons or something on here. I think they're in the box. But no chips, no cracks. So that was kind of cute. I thought that was cute. You could even just change this out, put little flowers or whatever there. That was super cute. I'm trying to stick with what we got Easter wise. I thought these cutouts were a little bit older. Well, definitely the tape is browned on this one. So little lamb, I did not see any makers on these. And then this one says happy Easter. And then this one does say Eureka USA on there. So cat. That one does have a little stain on the egg, but still, I mean, they were fun. And mind you though, these, it didn't matter. Whatever it was, it was a quarter. So quarter, so the, this was a dollar. I mean, you know, you could get big things, little things. It didn't matter. It was a quarter. So we got those and then rounding out our Easter, the little tray, that's an older tray does have one small crack in the bottom but not bad but this is definitely one of those older trays so. and then this little happy easter pails she is i think she's made in korea isn't she made in korea she's got a nice little kitschy face on her super cute so that's easter so then um, the only things I picked up Christmas 
was <clears throat> I thought this tin was super great. Um, I mean, it's in a really decent shape. The inside looks pretty good. It's just got some like sticker residue on it that could, I mean, come off, but I just, I thought it had a really great picture on it. The colors were great on it. Other than the um, sticker residue, it was in great shape. Um, I picked up this guy. I mean, when you're talking a quarter, he is, he is made 1990. He's marked on the bottom. Um, and it looks like he had like this thing that he would probably play a Christmas song here if you push this in. So I don't know. I'm going to try and see if I can't get that out to replace the battery or to replace that. But I just, you know, if you can get that to sing, I mean, for a quarter, how can you go wrong? So I got that Christmas the tin, and then I th believe these are all Libby trees. This one is the one that the top comes off. So let's untape this guy. You know, the top comes off here. So I have one that's not quite as big as this, and then in my own collection. And then I have quite a few of these in my collection so I'm probably going to change out some of these and then um, sell some of these so I mean for a quarter you can't go wrong and I never found a colored one yet so and this one's even like almost like an ombre with that the green is really dark at the top and then it gets lighter on the bottom so I really do like that one and then the last fun Christmas thing I want to say this was it Colonel Sanders. Colonel Sanders Christmas Day with Colonel Sanders. How can you go wrong with Colonel Sanders having a Christmas album? I mean, come on, is that not fun or what? Special Collector's Edition Christmas Day with Colonel Sanders. The um, Kentucky Fried <laughs> Corporation it says on the back, dear friends, for the Christmas season, I cannot think of a nicer way to convey my best wishes than to share this album of traditional music with you. Um, so he goes on more in his letter. So um, just a fun find. So grab that. So that's Christmas stuff. So I did grab some, um, I've been looking for these home cooking books. I wanted older ones for Retro Cooking Wednesdays, but these ones, they started 94 and I got a stack. So these go from November of 94 through basically October of 1997. So I grabbed what they had. I was just so excited to find them because I've been looking for them. I want the ones from the 70s, but I mean, until I find those, these will work. It's just because um, when we're looking at, I guess, what was made in that era, you know, trying to look at Betty Crocker and whatever, yeah, okay. But these are actually submitted by homemakers. So people who actually made these recipes, like these recipes, they were submitting them to these little magazines. So this is actually what your homes were cooking within their, you know, within their house. This is what they were feeding their family. So I just kind of wanted to see if I could get more, like more authentic or whatever on what people were actually cooking in that era. So we got some from the 90s, so we're gonna check that out. So we got a whole stack of those, so I was really kind of happy to find those. This, I grabbed this in there, this was kind of by accident. I think I just grabbed it because it's the same size and it is actually written by the same people. It's called Fish and this was from 1992, but hey, it is Lent, so, you know, might need some fish recipes. 
I did pick up this Graham Kerr's cookbook. Um, I like the Galloping Gourmet. Um, this is just for my own collection. He used to do this um, cooking show. I, I believe he had a heart attack or something. And then he did the, um, like he put clips of the Galloping Gourmet and then he would take that recipe that he did and then he would minimize it. So he would change up all the recipes. So then he would do like the classic version of what he made on the Galloping Gourmet and then he changed it up. So like on here, the classic, um, just, I'll just give you one example. So we'll do here, Scottish Irish stew, because we were talking about St. Patty's Day. Um, the classic from the Galloping Gourmet had 700 calories. And when he mini maxed it, what he called it, he had 328 calories. And then he took his fat from 33 down to five. So um, it was just kind of interesting because I remember watching that Mini Max um, series. I believe it was on PBS. So I did grab that just for my own self. Um, I did like the Galloping Gourmet. So sticking with kind of ephemera, um, I just thought this one was kind of fun because it was like uh, appetizers and it just looked really retro. Um, good housekeeping appetizers. This was from, let's see, what's the date on this guy? 1958. So I just thought that was kind of fun for 1958. And then I grabbed, you know, Father's Day, Mother's Day's coming up. <clears throat> and I just thought these were kind of interesting, these little they just had stuff everywhere. So this was this was like meditations for mothers, and this was signed um, "Nanny" from Jonathan, Mother's Day, nineteen seventy six, and it just had all these little meditations for mothers in there. And even just reading some of them was just I don't know eye opening on how we complain so much nowadays, and we really shouldn't. The miracle your baby when you when you've said angry words. When I was a child, spring bonnets, when you feel like complaining. And it just goes on, on all these little, like, little, like, verses in here or whatever. I just thought it was kind of interesting. So this was in this lot. I just grabbed this because I just seen this little book that was signed in 1976. Um, TV Christian, um, what they say about TV. I just think that that's um, really interesting because what they'd be saying now about TV would kind of be, like, they have the devil on the back and stuff. So just, I mean, um, it, this was just in the bundle. So blessed hope. And this one was 1992. Um, Victory Over Circumstances. This is copyright. It doesn't say. This one doesn't have a copyright in it. Not that I can see. Anyways, if I find it, I will put it in the, on here. So that one. Human Traits. That are a source of danger to Christian experience. I didn't realize these were all like Christian books, but um, just kind of interesting still. Life Eternally Yours, Made in USA, I don't see a copyright on this one either. If I find copyrights on it, I will put them. Um, Carnality, It's Nature, Danger, Damage, Cure, and this one had like a Christmas birthday party for the whole world you are invited. So just some interesting things, I don't, I don't know, I just kind of picked them up. I picked it up really because of that. The little blue book. I just thought this little blue book was really interesting. Just the meditation for mothers. And um, so I, that whole was that whole package was wrapped for a quarter. But I had picked those up because Mother's Day is coming. And then there was also these like little, these were in with the cards. And this was like for mother. And it's like a little booklet. And it's just a bunch of little poems. And it's got really nice pictures in it. Um, and this was, let's see if we can find when this one was published. 1970. So I grabbed, and that's kind of why I grabbed that one because of the, Mother, and then Remembering Mother with Love, and this one was printed in, well, whoever signed it, signed it in 1978, it says, God bless you always, um, is our prayer, all your love, and they signed it, I don't know, maybe Mary Lou and somebody, Carl and Mary Lou or something, so just, and this also had, like, really pretty photos in it, and poems, for boys, house of memories, like a blossom, mother, mother's love, so that was interesting, and then I grabbed um, mother is a word called love, so these verses, um, 
inspirational verses to Mother on Mother's Day 1967. So I just thought if uh, maybe doing a lot for journaling or whatever, I just thought these would be kind of interesting. They were just inspirational poems. This one's got a little bookmark in it. It's dated 1992. So what is a mother, a mother's love? So just back on that again. Um, but just interesting. So then I went with a couple of dads. Um, two dads. These are also little booklets again that have pictures and poems in them. What is a dad, dad and I? This one is actually marked um, burger magnet i don't know if somebody made it or what but come on you guys remember popeye wimpy burgers so that so in here there was this whole lot of stickers and you know my first thought is when i see stickers in a bag like that are there any lisa frank <laughs> But there weren't, but I still grabbed them because it was, you know, anything Addie can play with them, whatever. But there was just real quick. We'll go through some of these. I mean, yes, these were used, but still, um, Mickey and Minnie are still there pretty good. Um, we'll go through some of the better ones. A lot of them were used. There's quite a few pages of Lion King. Um, it seems like this was more of a Disney lot. There is in these Snoopy, quite a few pages of the Snoopy. Some bears, some of them are used. Some Barbie. Aladdin, um, Mulan, Cinderella, and these, some of these are older, Snow White, some of them are gone, Hallmark, Disney cards, doesn't have a date, there's, these are all Snow White, there's some angels, those are pretty used, there's a bunch of Cinderella, um, just says Disney, no date, Little Mermaid, these are all the princesses it looks like, some are missing, but like I said, I'll put them on packages or give them to Addie. A bunch of these. You did great. Very nice. Well done. Wow. Super. Um, little angels. Some glittery Tweety Bird. New packs of, these are Notre Dame. Hunchback Notre Dame. And it has a date. 19. I can't read that. I'll put it up in the comments. Or on the screen. If I figure it out. And then a, pack, a new pack of Scooby-Doo. Which, 19... So big, huge thing of stickers. Why not for a quarter? Some of them were used, but that's okay. I was hoping there was Lisa Frank in there. Why not, right? Let me just shove these in there. All right. So stickers. I grabbed. I grabbed this because. I went to put a wreath on my door and this is what I had on my door to hang my wreath on and the bell was gone. Like, so I had this thing since we moved in here and that thing's riveted on there and the bell is gone. So I couldn't believe they had the same thing. And I liked it because you could hear when people were walking in the house. So I grabbed that. <clears throat> uh, we'll just do a couple little things that are on my table here. This is a, I want to say she is um, a little like Hungarian girl. She's just like a little trinket box, kind of. I don't know. She was kind of cute. Schlitz Light Beer. I actually sold this global sign. I had the big thing. And I've sold that before. It's a thermo serve, made in USA. I thought it was kind of cool. Too bad there wasn't two, but eh, what the heck. We have a like, whole barn, so it'll probably just go over there. Um, let me do this real quick, get this out of the way. <clears throat> so 
This is actually Swiss Air. So this is just like a travel bag. I don't know if it's actually for a stewardess or what, but it's definitely 50s or 60s travel bag. Nothing in it. I have some, is it Northwest? Like a little travel kit or something? <coughs> Northwest Airlines or Delta or something? I can't remember. Older, but um, I might like put them together to try and get rid of them. Well, just to sell them, not get rid of them. And then in here, I have a... I just put these in here so I can kind of keep stuff together. This is actually a Heidi uh, Doss watch. And the reason, well, Haley picked it up, is that it is marked on the back. Heidi Doss. It says genuine leather. Um, it's genuine leather. And then it says um, Japanese movement. It is made in China, but I guess she uses like Swakorsky crystals all over her watches. So we're going to check that out. And then Haley also picked up a little Notre Dame so this said um, made in Hong Kong on the back. So we're gonna try and get batteries for these to see if we can get them to work. And then she also picked up this purse. It does say made in China on the inside, but she said she had picked up this brand of purses before, which is a um, La Regal LTD made in China, which she said she's picked up like ones that were um, like beaded or whatever, and they were actually vintage. So she wanted to check this guy out for a quarter, why not? So we got that. And in this box, one dishwasher damaged pink Pyrex bowl. Um, I'm gonna put some peak on it. It's still dishwasher damage, but we'll probably just keep it as a workhorse here, but how can you pass up a pink Pyrex bowl for a quarter? It's not whore. I mean, it's dishwasher damaged, but at least it still has some color. So, we got that guy. And I did grab this big mirror. It's pink. Um, but I don't know if it's, like, if that's got water damage or what. That's kind of weird on there, but... It's still in great shape for a quarter. I just thought it was kind of fun. Plastic. Add that guy. Uh, and I didn't see it well as is, but Annie's going to use this for, because she's got pierced ears, so she's going to put her earrings and stuff in here. And that's her favorite color, pink. But it is just an, a Holland mold, a little cute little fish. And it does have... A chip there you know when it's like it, it's got a chip there too um when you're kind of going crazy a little bit that's fine it was a quarter if anything it'll just be donated back not a big deal i did grab i want to say this is indiana glass i want to say that's orange blossom on there and i thought oh it's probably missing a lid no this is an open sugar. I looked it up. It is an open sugar Indiana glass. I believe this is the orange blossom. Super nice. I mean, there's no damage on it. So for a quarter, yeah, I'll take that. That's, I like milk glass though. So that, I thought this was super fun. How cute is that? It needs to be cleaned up a little bit, but oh, would this not be cute in a girl's room? I mean, it's quite big. It just, I can't, Holly Hobby, I looked that up. Um, I didn't see anything. It feels like it was drawn, like it's, this is dented, like you can feel. So I don't know if, I don't think it's made. I mean, handmade. But I just think that is super cute. So grab that. 
and what else is in here? Oh, I grabbed this frame. This is really heavy. And it's like, and you know, if you go there, because I think that, I just want to say this, because this price on here, even though I paid a quarter for it, like, their prices when you're looking at stuff to shop there just on a day they're open is like this set was a dollar. This they have 50 cents on. So for them to go to a quarter, I mean, is like nothing. But this is this is definitely older because the glass on this is thicker. This is I want to say this is brass and it's got like enameled little flowers on there um but super cute so i grab that and is that all that's in the box could be you know because you're gla grabbing glass and you got like an ikea bag so it was like i'll take that towel i mean it's got a big run in it but i'll still use it for the camper or whatever it's super cute Grab that just for <laughs> when you're trying not to like have stuff clanked together. You know, these were some of the things I grabbed so stuff wasn't clanking together. I thought this was a super cute doily. Love the colors on it. Um, just this one. I was grabbing just stuff that looked older to me when I grabbed it. What does that say? Kitchen prayer on it. So, grab that, and just some um, hankies. That one is kind of pretty embroidered type. No, that's printed. It's got like a little printed rose on there. And this one's just white. <clears throat> I think that one, is that everything? Oh, the biggest thing. And I don't know, I'm still researching this guy. Um, this, uh, I might mispronounce it, a, a Doomler uh, Breden, Germany, West Germany, uh, <laughs> Candelabra. Um, I think it's a Breden, a Doomler Breden. Um, West Germany, uh, I can only find, I have not found any sold yet, but there are two up for sale for $400. So I don't know. Did I find a West Germany or Kendall um, for a quarter? I don't know. Is it? Will I have to find out? But why not? Pretty exciting, right? I could have a $200 candelabra for a quarter. So those are my finds from the quarter sale. How fun was that? I mean, not bad finds either, right? Super fun. I mean, Haley did grab some clothes for her new little guy that she's got on the way. Some things for Addie. A couple of coats that she was going to resell that were total 90s colors. Um, yeah. So with that being said, this is Lynn from Halen Vintage. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much, you guys, for watching my, helping, helping my channel grow. I really do appreciate that so, so much and watching my videos. Thank you so much. And with that being said, stay retro, my friends.